Konnichiwa, I mean, this is T-Secure, and you're watching Pokecast. Today's 10-minute first impressions video It's going to be on a Sega Saturn game. And that is Emmet, Volume 2, My Ga Ki no Tabi. Alright, so this is the second uh, disc in the series, and I can't wait to see what's happened and what's new in this this chapter of the story as always 10 minutes to play the game first i'm playing a version of and i can't skip anything let's get the timer started timer has been started and let's begin press start All right, so let's see what will happen in this one. Chapter one. We start at a bookstore and we get to see students and families buying books. Right here is our main character, Emmett. She is been in but to meet the boy of her dreams or her boyfriend I guess so okay it is a boyfriend it looks like and they all I don't know if I can do this all over again for eight more minutes Hmm. Alright, so this is the boyfriend. He is trying to talk to his girlfriend as he does his best. Oh! It has been almost a year since she saw him. So it has been a long time. And we can see that he's a little sad... They're not, they're actually kind of like, oh, having a wee bit of fun. Oh, I love the voice from this uh, cashier. She's just like, yes, did it be me this much money? That's awesome. It's actually quite interesting. They actually keep looks like they keep the same type of graphics that were on the Super Nintendo. And of course, this was released on the FM Marty, uh, so it's no wonder that the graphics are like this, which is not a bad thing. Um, but with the Saturn version, it actually has the audio in it since it actually has is a CD so it can hold more. Chapter 1. Yay! Has been completed. So we go on. But now I'm curious like, okay, what happened? The coolest thing is there's actually um, Japanese or English uh, voice. That's really cool. And this probably right here is uh, subtitles, most likely. I'll keep that off because, just in case. So, as always, it's always nice to get a good cup of tea to be polite. So, they are talking about very important things, such as moments like this. Very important to know. Uh, 
Unfortunately, he walked home a girl who wanted him to walk him home. She's not buying it. But that's usually what happens. The girl that's in love with you. And you take home another girl home. Or walk the girl home because she really needed help. Um, so, yes, that does not bode well for the poor young man. At all. Alright, I'm back. Uh, so recharging the timer. There we go. We have four minutes and 30 seconds there. have no idea what just happened. But, okay. Okay, so. The story continues. Apparently, somebody said Emmett. So, the uh, mystery thickens, I guess? Chapter 3 There's a hidden door hidden behind piles of books. She finds it somehow. The heavy still door opens. A f sweet fragrance comes out. It is the same scent. I make sure that nobody's following her and she goes in. She's standing on the dirt ground just inside the door. This is her second visit here. Oh! Okay, well, she's already came here. Oh, okay. So Emmett is a uh, alternate world. Okay. I actually have put my headphones on so I can actually hear what they're talking about to at least get a little bit. So this time I'm not making things... I'm not actually... Uh, coming up with my own ideas. I'm actually listening in. Wipe away the dust. Hmm. She's now going to open the door. As long as she writes Emmet, the door will open. Okay. Yuri is her name. She pulls the door up with all of her strength and the door flings open. And... Hmm. She wonders what, why it was so easy this time. Chapter 3 Time, time, time Chapter 4 She looks through the doorway And sees a mirror And she sees a reflection But then she notices it's not a mirror Her evil twin comes out. Okay, I'm making stuff up now. Hello? This is so weird. <gasps> oh. That's not good. Oh, the poor girl fainted. That's not good. Now we have to figure out why her evil twin pulled her into the world of Emmet. Okay, so now she remembers the being pulled into the hole. Hmm. 
So now she will walk towards the light at the end of the tunnel and see what answers wait for her. There goes the timer. Okay. This is actually pretty cool that they have the um that they actually have the um English and Japanese voice. That's actually pretty sick. I'm really happy about that. And this time, you know, we can actually get, it looks like, uh, the uh, subtitles. So that's not bad and really helpful. I'm really excited that they, you know, made sure that this version had some more features than what the Super Nintendo one. Of course, you know, that's just because the Super Nintendo version wasn't able to hold the whole game. So that's not a bad thing at all, but this is pretty cool that they're able to include so much. And it makes me really happy. I am very, very curious now about this series. It's just, it's... I, I love these type of things because, you know, they're so fun to do and... Having it like this is a pretty cool idea, and I don't really get a, a whole lot of visual novels that are just flat out a visual novel. I think I only own... Oh, I just want to say I own only one of them that you don't really have to choose. So I'm, I, since I haven't seen any choices yet in the game, this one looks like it's just a visual novel. So that's pretty cool, and I really am enjoying uh, seeing how this one's starting to unfold. But it's leaving me with so many questions because I didn't go through and play the first game. So that really, really makes me just want to be like, I want to know. So this is going to be amazing um, to go through and just see what this is all about. Because now the only thing I know is... It's actually uh, is pronounced <laughs> the English way, Emmet, and uh, it involves another world, so a parallel universe, which is really cool. But now, of course, we have a uh, an evil twin has pulled her into the other universe and has taken her place in her universe, which is always a fun thing to see what's going to happen. Not bad at all. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed, because I know I've been enjoying this. This is Tisa Kura saying ciao and sayonara.